Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land where we're going. Shalom, brothers and sisters, Shalom. Um, yeah, man, we, we're going to get right into this epistle here. Um... You know, again, of course, the message is going out to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. The lost world tribes of Israel telling you that you're the Lord's chosen people, bro. And it's time to repent, man. If you haven't heard this word, that with the Israelites, this, hey, man, this is it. Uh, you know, this, this message is going out to the 144 hopeful elect. You know, the ho hopeful elect of Israel. You know, that's going to hear these words. Repent and be healed. Right? So, um. And through the Spirit, we're going to bring this out. Um, I try, when when I see one of the brother's epistles, man, speaking about the things that are to come, you know, prophecy being fulfilled, I try to repost as many as I can. Um, I'm sure, you know, some sometimes, I can't repost all of them, but, you know, I try. I try. And uh, a lot falls through the crack, of course. But hopefully that, you know, when you see these videos, that you're actually subscribing to the brother's channels as well to stay plugged in. You know, stay up to date to what the things is going on around the world, right? One of them being, uh, you know, brothers, brother Malcolm brought out a, a beautiful epistle yesterday about um, the famine of food and how serious it is going to be. Uh, he brought up the scriptures about, you know, uh, cannibalism. Uh, you know, in the days of old, uh, during Jerusalem, the siege of Jerusalem, when uh, you know they had to eat their own children. You know, and it's going to get bad like that, you know, because there's nothing new under the sun. It's going to get bad out here. So we're hoping to be, you know, protected from Yahweh HaShem uh during all of these sad perils that's, that's about to, to happen. You know, the sedition of men, the uh, World War Three, of course, the famine, the teeth of wild beasts, bro. Um, and ultimately, those nuclear warheads that's going to be shot over here at Babylon the Great to destroy this place. So, you know, we're praying and hoping to be a, a part of that elect number that's destined for salvation to be saved out of it. Right, we're going to get right into this epistle here. Um, not, I don't know what it's, what it's going to be called. I had a few things in the air, you know, about the name of the epistle. You know, like, uh, you know, do you know the Lord? Do you really know the Lord? Um, or, or either my ways are not your ways or how, you know, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Something like that. Um, but let's just get into it. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah. You know, once again, this is prophecy being fulfilled that we, the, the, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians are waking up in the last days, understanding that we're the Lord's chosen people. First and foremost, understanding that there is a God, one true living, the one true living God, and not, no, none of the, not all of these uh, um, false gods and false idols that they promoted here on this, in, on this planet, right? Uh, you know, but at the same time, keeping us away from the one true living God, the God of Israel, the God that's written in the scriptures. That's why uh, this world is geared toward everything that's against what the scripture actually says. You know, they say that they believe in the Lord, but then their actions uh, show a, a totally different picture. OK, um, and that, you know, goes that refers to the, uh, the scripture in the book of Psalms, chapter 50, you know. 50 verse 15, what right do you have to declare my statutes or take, you know, my judgments in your, in your mouth, roughly paraphrasing, you know, because they hate instruction. So they're doing something totally opposite because they're the devil that the Bible speaks of. When I say they, we're speaking about the rulers of this world. Uh, uh, Job chapter 9 verse 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So going back to the book of Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 24, but let him that glories glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. That I am the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, which execute loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, said the Lord. Now check, check it out. It's just plain. You know, and this is a gift of faith that the Lord has given us to believe these words, to know him, to have the mind of Yahweh Shemashah. You know, uh, he's given us the Holy Spirit. He's given us pastors according to his own heart that's going to feed us with knowledge, starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, you know, and all the other brothers on there on their umbrella. You know, um, but let him, let's, 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 let's start at verse 23. Thus said the Lord. So these are the words of Yahweh Hashem Hashem. Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Right. You got, you know, uh, these scholars and uh, 
you know, people have gone to these theology schools and, you know, spent all their, their years and time uh, getting a doctorate degree or whatever, you know, um, in this, in the uh, wisdom of this world. But the scripture speaks that the wisdom of this, this world is foolishness to the Lord, to Yahweh Hashem HaShah, because this is where it's at. Because all, all, everything that we see here is temporal, you know, um, but the things to come are, are forever, bro. They're, they're going to last forever, which is the kingdom of heaven, the next kingdom that's about to be established. Going right back to this epistle, um, getting ourselves, getting our minds ready for, this, for these things to come. You know, uh, repent, repenting to the Lord, the one true living God. And repentance is for the children of Israel only, you know, through the bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Um, right, you know. Thus said the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. Right. Once again, all this, all this stuff that you think that you know about this world, forget all this shit, you know, and stack up your riches in heaven. Pursue Yahweh Shem HaShah. Seek his face now. Start watching the vid videos of the Elder Apostle Great Millstone and all the other brothers on down there in Umbrella, bro. But let him that glorieth glory in this. This is what it's, what, this is what it's really all about. That he understand understandeth and knoweth me that I am the Lord Yahweh Shem HaShah will execute loving kindness judgment and righteousness in the earth for in these things I delight said the Lord see the, what's about to happen now is this kingdom this wicked ass kingdom is about to be overthrown and uh, as the scripture proclaims in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 9 thy kingdom come thy will be done so he's the one that execute loving kindness you know and judgment and righteousness in the earth right and every day the Lord's uh, judgments go out uh, at the stripper proclaims, but you know the unjust knoweth no shame. They're gonna continue to do wicked things, but uh, we're about to get it now. You know, so you should be happy that you know you have Hashem Hashem. The Lord has called you back out of darkness into this marvelous light. The brothers and sisters that have come back to this understanding for this truth. This is the book of Exodus chapter six, Salaki. Exodus chapter twenty, verse six. And sh um, wait, I want to start at verse five. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. Right these, now, these are the cam these are this is one the commandments right here. I want to read that commandment in uh, twenty verse four, Exodus chapter twenty verse four, and we'll read down to six. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down them, thyself to them. Nor serve them, for I am the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, that thy God am a jealous God, visiting the iniquities, this is the point we want to make. So, you know, when we come back to this truth, to this understanding, you know, that we've been lied to, uh, they've given us these false gods and false idols to, um, you know, to serve and to, to make mention of and all this stuff, all these pagan holidays, uh, so on and so forth. Now we, we're coming back to the one true living God, uh, Yahweh. It's the Almighty, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai. You know, understanding the truth, the truth, truth. Okay? And uh, also, coming up, these devils are, you know, about to implementate the, you know, they got the image of the beast out here on full display, telling you to, you know, um, believe in this image. Believe in all this science and philosophies and doctrines of this world. Uh, go along and get along with all these things that they put pr pr promoting out here. These, uh, these, uh, you know, the um, what do you, what do you call it? The um, um, shit, the, the political systems, you know. Um, the, oh yeah, that's what the democracy, the so-called democracy, and the, the 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 peace. The you know, oh we we're here to help on all this stuff, but at the same time they they're not here to help, and that's the the image of the beast, you know, uh, portraying themselves to be, you know, as the Lord and all this stuff. Um, and, of course, you know, saying everything that's contrary to the word of Yahweh Shemasha. Man and man can get together and they can get married, you know. Uh, they're doing all these transplants now. They're uh, with, this, with the GMO foods, you know. Um, it's just all, it's all a big mess, bro, Okay. So they want you to get along with that and, and, and submit to it, right? And ultimately, you're going to have to become a part of this, this, this wickedness by 
taking the uh, M-A-R-K, you know, it's written about in the book of Revelation chapter 13, you know, verse 16, uh, you're going to have to take that, you know, if you want to be a part of this society, right? But Yahweh Shema Shah has told us, the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, what's going on. And we're not supposed to be doing this shit so when we repent to the one true living God and understand what's going on. Ultimately, that's, you know, that's it. Um, Thou shalt not buy that, bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shah, thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Okay? Now, this is the point I want to make. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments, bro. So we're hoping to be a part of the ones that love you. How about Shema Shai? So therefore, you know, when you hear this word of truth, you begin to understand that we, you know, the Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, you know, the ones at the bottom of society, the ones that have been put in the transatlantic slave trade, the ones that are yet this day in their captivity, the ones that are despised, the ones that are hated, the ones that are being oppressed right now, you know, all of this is of the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, and it's a punishment to us. So therefore, when you understand these things, you come back to the Lord, you know, repenting with mourning, with weeping, with supplication, understanding the error of your ways, bro. Okay? You know what I'm saying? That's it, man. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 9. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much more re rather be subject unto the father of spirits and live right because the lord now the lord now you know it's got the prophets out here starting with the elder apostle great millstone you know letting us know all these things letting us know the judgment of this wicked ass place telling us to flee out of the midst of babylon you know and deliver every man his soul to get yourself get your mind right right this is the book of and telling you about the things to come the, the time of jacob's trouble uh the, the overthrow of this kingdom you know and uh if you, if you know anything, uh, there's a war. War promotes death, you know, and there's about to be a war. It was speaking about the war in heaven. Michael, you know, casting out the, uh, the devil and his angels. Um, Esau, you know, that's Esau eating the occasions of Kaw. You know, the great war of heaven, uh, battle of Armageddon. And just a plain overthrow of this kingdom uh, with all these plagues that the Lord is sending to this place. There's about to be a lot of great death. So... You know, the Lord is warning us through the through the mouth of his prophets, starting with the elders, apostle, great millstone and all the other brothers on that umbrella telling you to get yourself together. And this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse three. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Right. So just like in the days of Noah, Noah out there telling the people, hey, there's going to be a flood. The Lord is not pleased. You know, you're, you, you guys are you guys are wicked. Y'all got to repent. You got to come back, you know, to the Lord. And they, they wouldn't do it. They just continue on in their wickedness. And what happened? They all got destroyed. So the same thing is going on right now. You know, this word is being proclaimed on the four corners of the earth, warning the children of Israel, hey, the Lord say, you know, it's time. You know, their, their, their sins have reached up to heaven. This is about to be, this place is about to be judged. It's, it, it's an end of an age. It's the end of an era. It's the end of Esau's wicked rulership and the kingdom of heaven is at hand repent ye and believe the gospel so a prudent man foreseeth the evil so the ones that are wise the one that the lord has given this gift of faith to the 144 hopeful elect and one third of israel are going to hear these words and they're going to start doing things about it bro they're going to because they believe they have that faith through the spirit and power how about shema shai and now hear the words of the, the elders apostle great millstone to activate you know be activated in the, in the spirit and they're going to start doing things differently a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide of himself. They're going to go start, seek and inquire of the Lord and ask what they can do to avoid this punishment. Ask, you know, trying to figure out how to get out of this, this death that's about to happen on the earth. Why? Because they actually believe it, bro. You know, and then the simple passes on and are punished, right? So this is the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. You know, that scripture speaks about... Um, you know, with their mouth, they do honor me, and with their lips, you know. Uh, let's, uh, let's go get that real quick in the book of Isaiah, chapter, I think it's, uh, t is it 29 and 13? Hold on. Let's go. I think it's, it should be Isaiah 29. Yeah. Yeah, Isaiah chapter... 
29 verse 13, Wherefore the Lord said, For so much as this people draw near with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and the fear toward me is taught by the precepts of men. Right, you know, once again, you know, we've been lied to. They're telling you that the Lord is all loving, that the Lord uh, hate the sin and not the sinner. You know, all these, all these damn lies, but now the truth is out. The Lord said, you know, if I had come, they would not have sinned, but now they have no cloak for their sins. You know, this word of truth is out telling you that you've been lied to, who the Lord really is, that he's a man of war. He don't play no shit. Okay, this is the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. Simple as that. When you hear this word of truth and you say you love the Lord, you know, you say, oh, yeah, as the scripture proclaimed, my people have a zeal for the most high, but not according to knowledge. Now, the truth is out, bro. Just like that. The truth is out. That would be a good topic. The truth is out. Um, now, the truth is out. Now, through faith now, you would say, okay, well, I, be I believe them, man, because the everything they're saying is out straight out of the scriptures. And I can read along, I can actually read along, hear what they say, and it, it they're not saying anything that's not, that's what the scripture's not saying, you know, period. You know, the Lord say, this is my name, we should, the brothers show you in, in the scriptures where the, where the Lord's name is, you know. Um, the Lord say, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it in the scriptures, you know. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. That's what it means. The Lord said, "I was only sent for the lost sheep of the house of Israel." That's what it means, you know. But because we're saying that this world has has lied to you, bro, it tells you in the scriptures how they've lied to you. It tells you in the scriptures that all these nations are enemies of the Lord, right? It tells you that the Lord has only one chosen people. It tells you even that the Lord has a Israel of the Most High, you know. They they they. The, the, he, the children of Israel, but right now it's only for the elect, the 144 hopeful elect of Israel. This is the book of John chapter 14, verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. Because it seed him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwell with you and shall be in you. Right, so if you love him, you're going to keep... You're going to start keeping the commandments. You're going to start calling on the name. You're going to have faith. And the Lord said he's going to send you the comforter, send you the Holy Spirit to even, you know, mm, so you know all things. You know, through the teachings of the elders, apostle, great millstone, and the understanding with that Holy Spirit, bro. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you, okay? It's going to let you know everything that's written in the scriptures so you can believe in these words and, and know that salvation is right around the corner. You know, um, they're, they're this wicked ass world, all this oppression, every, all these things about to be done away with, bro. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while the world sees me no more, but ye see, ye, ye see me because I live. Ye shall live also. And that day ye shall know that I am in the Father and ye in me and I in you. I want to bring this point out here. He that have my commandments... Okay, and keep it them. He it, it he it is that love me. And it's simple like that because and that's why, you know, we'll bring, you you might hear me bringing out the scriptures all the time that we know that we're of Yahweh Shemashai and the whole world life in wickedness. Because man, we've we've come back, I man, we really do. We really have, you know, the brothers starting with their brothers, Elder Apostle Great Millstone and all the other brothers on down the umbrella, man, we can I can see the spirit on these brothers, you know, and I can hear their words and I can, you know, I believe it because it's happening to me as well. Just like the scriptures say, you know, this thing, the same things are, are accomplishing your brothers in the world. Um, that is happening to us, that we are being molded and shaped and changed, you know, to hate that abomination vehemently, to turn away from this wicked ass world, to be doers of the word and not hears only. To love Yahweh Hashem and to keep His commandments to the best of our abilities, not being, not even being over righteous or nothing like that, but just you know trying to do it, bro. Okay. He that hath me, Salaki, He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. See, and manifest myself. That's beautiful, bro. You know, manifest myself to him. Let's go to the book of Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha. You know, getting more understanding of who the Lord really is. Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha. 
chapter 12, verse 6. For the Most High hated sinners, and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly, and keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. Right, and um, the brother, uh, GMS Precept of Arm Precept, brought this out yesterday, and I was like, yeah, that, hey, I haven't heard that in a while. That's beautiful, man. Just to bring that understanding out, you know, to, to uh, break down these strongholds again about that the Lord hated sin, sin and not the sinner. You know? No. For the Most High hated sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. Right. You know? And it's, it, and it's just like that. You can't run away from the word of the Lord, you know, just because... What does Scripture say? Uh... uh Let's go get it in the book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 3, real quick. Romans, chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh Shemashah without effect? God forbid. Yea, let God be true. Yahweh Shemashah be true. But every man a liar. Okay? Yeah, so what? If you don't believe it, that's okay. You, you know, you still, the scripture still speaks about the Lord hated sinners. And he's going he's gonna to repay them. And he's going to keep them to that day, you know, of vengeance. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. That's why a wise man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. He's going to go to the Lord, you know, learn the names. He's going to start praying to the Lord and ask the Lord for forgiveness. Ask the Lord to, to direct his footsteps and keep him, you know, keep him um, away from that evil day to protect him. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All that hate me love death. Okay? What? What? Let's jump up to Proverbs chapter 8, verse 35. For whoso findeth me, findeth life. Right. Once again, return to the Lord. Repent with your whole heart. And shall obtain favor of the Lord. What? It's, it's just right there. Laying it out right there. Plain and simple. But he that sinneth against me, wrongeth his own soul. All that hate me love death. You want to continue on in your wicked way? You don't, you don't want to believe this word? Well, that means you're gonna, you love death, and it's going to come and get your ass. This is the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh Shema is, is eternal life through Yahweh Shah our Lord. What? The wages of sin is death. Plain and simple. The wages of sin is death. Say it with me. The wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. So if you, if you, are, are you wrapped up in iniquity? How are you going to get paid? You're going to get paid with death. Okay? Let's, let's go to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18, verse 27. Let me put these on real quick, bro. Ah. Again, when the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he have committed, and doeth that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul alive. Sounds fair enough, right? When a wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he have committed, and doeth that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul alive. Because he considereth and turneth away from all his transgressions that he have committed, he shall surely live, he shall not die. Yet, said the house of Israel, the way of the Lord is not equal. O house of Israel, are not my ways equal? Are not your ways unequal? Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, every one according to his ways." Said the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. Cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, and make a new heart and a new spirit. For why will you die, O house of Israel? Right? Not the whole world, only the children of Israel. The 144, hopefully like the one-third of Israel, the ones that will repent. Turn away, you know. For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, said Yahweh Shemashah. Lord God, wherefore turn yourselves and live ye. Right, turn yourselves and live ye. You know, and you know, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shemashah, as I, you know, was just speaking about that, you know, um, how Yahweh Shemashah has put the spirit on us, and Lord willing, we were going to endure until the end, you know, to turn away from this wicked world, to start doing things that's pleasing to the Lord, you know, before that great and dreadful day. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8, verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the son of men is fully set in them to do evil. Right, you know, you, you might see Pookie get shot down over there, you know, two or three weeks later, 
you know, Ray Ray might get shot. And you don't, you know, take it to heart that it's, that's the judgment of Yahweh Hashem Hashem because they don't, they don't know Yahweh Hashem Hashem here, man. You know, uh, and we see it all the time. You know, sometimes we can see a little news clipping come up and you got a mother crying and they tell you, oh yeah, her son just got killed today. And what, three or four months ago, her other son got killed too. Both of them wrapped up in iniquity. You know, but this word is telling, warning the children of Israel to repent, as we just read in the book of Ezekiel. Okay? This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 8. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourself, it is the gift of Yahweh Shemashah. Right? So look, once again, this is a gift. Right? F not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Yahweh Shah unto good works, which Yahweh Shemashah had before ordained that we should walk in them right man so look once again this is not something to be taken lightly this is uh you know just understanding the will of Yahweh Shemasha and being you know on one accord with the Lord he said this is a predestination thing this is he's the father of spirits and Lord willing once again that's why we be praying and hoping to be those vessels of honor this is the book of James chapter 2 verse 14 what prophet what does the prophet my brethren though a man say he have faith and have not works, can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked, hold on. If a brother and sister be naked, uh, okay, yeah. If a brother and sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one say to, to say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warm and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to, to the body, what profit, what doth it profit? Even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead, been alone. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Right. Thou believest that there is one God, thou wilt do as well. The devils also believe and tremble. Right, man, you got to believe this word of truth. Look, let's look, look at some of these things right here. These are some, some of the works right here. Warning the children of Israel, bro. Um, look, this is the one from uh, one of the brothers. I remember he made this a long time ago. Stay clocked in for you. How about Shema Shai? That's one of the brothers from, from Alabama, I believe. I reposted that video. You know, uh, this is about when that, when that thing first came out and everybody was wearing those masks and the mask was fucking up their damn face. You know, this is having faith. You know, that there's chariots that's going to come and deliver the children of Israel from those uh, nuclear warheads that's going to be shot over here, Babylon the Great, man. This is, uh, you know, having faith, you know, to do the work, bro. You know, to walk in the spirit, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, to turn away from this wicked world. Um, to proclaim this word to the children of Israel that the Lord put the spirit on you to do so. But to actually have faith and to be doers of the word and not hearers only. That's faith with works, you know, to... Uh, Present your body as a living sacrifice to be to to believe this word so much that you are you know you 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 to the best of your abilities, man. You're you're uh, believing in this word and you're trying to do things to please Yahweh Shemashah. Understanding that this is the end of an age, it's the end of this world, and you know you're just hey, I'm I'm afraid Yahweh Shemashah. Please forgive me. Please help me. You know, continue on to get yourself together. Get closer and closer to you. How about Shema Shai every day? Staying plugged into this truth. Watching the brothers, you know, Great Millstone. You know, the, starting with the Elder Apostle, Great Millstone, and all the other brothers on down the umbrella. Turning away from this wicked world, man. You know, and just waiting. Waiting on you. How about Shema Shai? Growing, growing day by day. As the stripper proclaims, you know, the, the outward man perished, but the inner man is being renewed day by day. You know? And it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's work. It's a lot of work, man. But... Show me a man that, you know, show me, what did the stripper say? Yea, a man may say thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Right, you can, you know, you got them monkey, them damn niggas, ninjas standing around all day long. You know, they will debate the shit out your ass about how much, you know, they so-called, you know, love you, how about Shema Shai. But, you know, indeed, they deny him, bro. They deny him. They don't want to call on the, the true names of Yahweh Shai. They want to. They don't want to observe the correct Passover. They don't want to come on the one accord as Yahweh Shai had commanded us to do. 
You know, we're talking about those, uh, you know, those are the circumcision at this time. But we got the, the Jakes out here, the two-thirds, you know, that's gone, totally gone, you know. But all praise to Yehab HaShem HaShah that called us, you know, into this marvelous light, you know. This is the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say that evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Right, and it's simple as that, you know. All the sinners, let, let's jump up. to verse, I like to start at verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, are upon the sinful kingdom. Right. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. You know, having faith in that. The Lord telling you he's going to destroy Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, off the face of the earth. It's written in the scriptures. You know, that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You know. I will destroy it off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel from among all nations, like his corn is sifted in the sieve. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Right, and all this is about having faith, you know, of the, of the, of the word of the Lord, that the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians are scattered among all nations. They may even look like the other nations, and it's plain, simple Plain to the holy, but they're stumbling blocks to the wicked. That's faith, though. You know, faith in the word. Believing in the word. The word is Yahweh Shai. Okay? The word, you know, made flesh. Not the least grain shall fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. And that's why we're so confident in, in the word. You know, that's why we're so also cleaving unto the word that we are not... In that lot to be, you know, destroyed, man. Okay? We're not standing up here saying, you know, the evil's not going to overtake or prevent us. We're cleaving on to you, how about Shemashah, asking him to protect us from these evils, you know, as he proclaimed. You know, I wish that you would not take them out of the world, but you would keep them from the evil. So we want, you know, asking the Lord, you know, to include us in that, you know. This is the book of Matthew chapter 13, verse 14. And in them is fulfilled, Salaki, this is not it, Matthew 13, verse 41, Salaki, brothers and sisters, the Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out his kingdom, all things that offend, and them which do iniquity. Over and over again, Yahweh Shemashah, you know, saying, I'm going to do this, this is going to do it, this is going to happen, this is who I am, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, get yourself together, you know, at the strip proclaim in the book of Amos. Surely, let's go to it. Amos chapter um, 3, verse 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he reveal his secrets unto his servants and prophets. Right. Going back, you know, do you know Yahweh Hashem HaShai? Do you, un do you understand the words, you know, because now uh, you have no cloak for your sins. This gospel being preached on the four corners of the earth, telling you so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians that you are the Lord's chosen people. Over and over again. Over and over again. This is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Verse 11, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto Yahweh by Shemashah, and our trust also are made manifest in your conscience, man. Okay? Knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, understanding that, hey, man, we've been lied to. You know, the, the devil that the Bible speaks of, you know, had come up to deceive the, the nations, but now the Lord has put his spirit back into us, and we've, we're standing up on our feet, proclaiming this word of truth, condemning this wicked-ass world, and warning the children of Israel. Bam, bam, bam. Telling you who the Lord really is. That's what we, we open it up with Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 24. You know, if any man should boast, boast that he knoweth me. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. These, these are the words of the Lord. He's the one that, that formed light. He's the one that created darkness. He said, I make peace and create evil. He's the one that created evil. That's why we're running to Yahweh Shem HaShah, seeking his face, asking him to keep us away from the evil. Let's go to the book of Psalms, chapter 17, verse 13. And we're about to wrap it up, bro. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Right. And, you know, we spoke about briefly, um, you know, how Brother Malcolm and all these, all the other brothers, you know, bring out these epistles, these beautiful epistles about the upcoming said perils, about the things that's happening on earth, about the, 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 uh, the, the uh, manufactured famine, 
which is by who? Esau, Edom, the sword of the Lord, right? The sword of the Lord. The earth is given it's in the hand of the wicked. They're um, promoting their NW, you know, the order. And these are prophecies that's spoken about in the scriptures. So the Lord, just like the Lord said to Pharaoh, I will raise you up so I can bring you down. These things must come to pass. But also at the same time, this man is, um, you know, he's got, he's got jobs to do. He's, uh, he's got to, uh, he's the sword of the Lord. You know, he's got to cut off, began to cut off the children of Israel. And the Lord's got other things, um, you know, he's got other things in play for, for you know, this, uh, these plagues that's going to happen on the earth because it's the time of judgment, bro. Okay, and Esau is playing his part. The Lord's got the teeth of wild beasts. Uh, as you can see, Esau is the one that's creating this famine. The Lord has also got the famine. You know, he's got drought out here, um, you know, destroying some of the crops. Um, he's got the locusts. He's, he's, doing, he's doing a marvelous work, and it's happening right around us. That's why the scripture speaks about the Lord's coming in as a thief in the night. But he's, that's why he told us to always constantly watch and pray. You know, So we're watching and we're praying that he's going to deliver out of, out of these things. We're, we're praying and hastening the day of his return. And we're actually happy about these things because we want to be delivered out of the hands of our enemies. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 55, verse 9. For as the heavens are higher than the earth... So are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Right. So, you know, don't even hesitate. Don't even think that you know something. You know, don't even think that you know something. And that's a good scripture to end it on, too, um, that Proverbs. Just understand that the Lord, you know, has a great plan. He, he's already declared the end from the beginning. He's the creator of all things. Okay. It tells you. In the scriptures, it says in the beginning. And then in the book of Revelations, it tells you that the kingdom of heaven is established and everything's going to be put back correctly in order. Right? This is the book of John chapter 8, verse 23. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are, ye are of this world, I am not of this world. Okay? I said, therefore unto you, that ye shall die in your sins if ye... Believe not that I am he. Ye shall die in your sins. Right, and that's it. So, the, 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 you know, the, the Lord is saying, you know, uh, hey, your ass better than repent or you're going to die. Basically. Let's go to the book of Luke chapter 13, verse 2. And how shall I answer and said it to them? Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans because they suffered such things. I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Just like that, man. You shall all likewise perish. So we're going to end it off on Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1. My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. You know, that's Israel had not found out what it seek it for. The election have obtained, or have obtained it, but the rest are blinded. You know, we're looking for that peace, for that mercy. For that truth. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. And that's what this, this truth is. That's what this understanding is. You know, the word of Yahweh Shem Mercy and truth. You know, to be doers of the word, not hearers only. To hope for that salvation. To do things to please the Lord. And this what, what look, look. Verse 4. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of Yahweh Shem and man. Right, because we understand that man, the Yahweh Shemashah directs the footsteps of man. Right, so if we find good favor in the sight of the Lord, he's going to direct our footsteps. And also what the scriptures say, uh, when a man's ways please the Lord, he make even his enemies at peace with him. And we just read, uh, protect me from the wicked, which is thy sword. You know, it, it all connects brothers and sisters. You know, uh, the Lord said there's not a sparrow that falls out of the sky without his consent. The Lord said he's going to protect us from the day of trouble. You know, that's what we're hoping for. And that's what this epistle ultimately is talking about. We're talking about salvation. We're talking about destruction of this wicked as world and those that's going to be saved out of it. You know, the warning is out. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of Yahweh Shemashah and man. This is the point. Trust in the Lord Yahweh Shemashah with all thine heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. Because why? His ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. In all thy ways acknowledge him, 
and he shall direct thy paths. Okay? And we got to leave it right there, man, because that's a beautiful spot just to leave it. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. So when the Lord say, hey, these, these, these sad calamities, these perils are going to happen on the earth, you better believe it, bro. When the Lord say, you know what, at least you repent, you shall all likewise perish, you better believe it, bro, and repent. So, uh, I don't know what we're going to do about the title, though, but it's okay. You, you know, how about Shema Shai going to bring it up? So with that, hopefully this is edifying brothers and sisters. Want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. Want to give double honors to the elders of Apostle Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Citations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever we go. Shalom Israel. Shalom.